Me and the NRA, we're gonna sodomize ourselves with our pistols tonight. Uh, uh, right up our ass, all deep, all right. Uh, uh. Anyways, speaking of being, uh, fucked. <clears throat> now, I, I, I've talked about this m- numerous fuck times, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, <sighs> now, listen, I am not one of these people who's, who... You know, oh, you're just a stupid liberal. You just want to take away everybody's guns and, you know, Second Amendment and blah, blah, blah. No. Listen, I don't give a fuck about the Second Amendment. I mean, in, in general, I don't give a fuck about the Second Amendment. But I don't give a damn about that. I mean, I want people to have the right to, to hunt and do what the fuck they got to do. But we have to understand, this is 2018, folks, Okay. This, oh, we gotta have our guns so we can stand up against a tyrannical government. Dude, you're not standing up against a tyrannical fucking government. You're just not. It's never going to happen. That's delusions of fuck grandeur. That shit was cute in 1770. Fuck you. It doesn't mean shit. It means nothing today. Okay, it means nothing. You are not going to take out the government, the U.S. fuck... Dude, we have over 800 bases around the world. Do you realize that? And every country that we're not in, we surround completely. You think some hillbillies from some southern state with their little AR-15s are going to take over the government if it ever becomes tyrannical. You're out of your fucking mind. You know, it's going to be like like a Waco kind of thing all over again. Okay. <clears throat> I, I, I yeah. and that's all I have to say. That's all. This clip should just end right here. I've spoke truth. You accept it or you don't. But I'm sorry. You are not going against the government. Funding forefathers and right to right to bear arms, dude. I don't understand where people get off thinking that they're going, dude. We have. Drones. We have bunker busters. You, you, and your little cache of, of of weapons are gonna go against a tyrannical fucking government of the United Fuck States. Are you kidding me? What fucking delusion are you living in? What 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 brain cell just popped in your fucking head that turned off your sanity? It's not happening. We have already lost that battle. Okay, <clears throat> we've already lost that. We have. That battle is no more. I don't care how many people. You get a couple hundred thousand people with AR-15s. You're not taking out the fucking government. You're just not. You're you're not. You You are not going to get to do that. They will not let you. Okay, do you understand that? The quote unquote, the tyrannical government will not let you do it. Again, it was cute in 1777 when, you know, there was redcoats running up and down the main street <clears throat> and everybody was on an pl- equal playing field where it's like, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, let me get out my little my little poker and my little my little buckshot and, and shuffle it up in there and wait a minute, pew, wait, wait, let me do it again. Let me, no, no. No. Right to bear arms was cute back then. Now we have... And we just killed a hundred fucking people. Killed another hundred fucking people. Do you understand that? Gun... Bullets are coming out like a billion bullets a second, okay? I mean, seriously, there are more, there are more bullets coming out of your clip than Walmart is making millions every hour. Do you understand that? You're not going against a tyrannical fuck government. You're not going against the U.S. government. You're not. Because here's a newsflash. Here's a newsflash. China isn't going to go against the United States. Russia, even China and Russia combined, are not going against the United States. You, you think a bunch of hillbillies with their little pop guns are going to take out a tyrannical government when China and Russia combined can't do it? Yeah, they might hit us first. We're gonna we're, we completely annihilate them. Especially when you got a maniac like Trump involved when he wants to do, drop nuclear weapons on everybody. <clears throat> you really, for the fuck of love, you really think 
You really think you have the, the wherewithal and the manpower to take out a tyrannical fucking government when, oh, I don't know, like I said, major major countries to get, together combined can't even do it. Yet, 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 you waving your little fucking uh, 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 Confederate flag, drinking your sweet tea and sucking each other off in the back down there, down there during Mardi Gras, you motherfuckers think you're going to do something special? Really? Really? The, the, this this delusion of grandeur, you know what it's going to do? It's going to get you killed. That's what's going to happen. You're going to die. You know why? You know why? Because we are set up right now. You want to talk about tyrannical government? We are set up right now that they could they could easily kill you. They could fly a drone in your house, blow it up, and literally blame it on oh I don't know a gas leak. You telling me our government couldn't do something like that? So if they get wind that oh we're going to stand up to our government and we're going to get our guns and we're going to tyrannical government really, really. And all these fucking right-wing retards. I mean, you you got to be retarded. You have to be borderline retarded. Because it's like, oh, for my cold dead hand, they're not they're going to pry my my Smith and Wesson for my cold dead hand. But I love the troops and I love the I love the military and I love the police. Oh, really? Well, guess who's fucking coming for your guns if and when that happens? It's going to be the military, the police, uh, yeah, the people that you so-called love, the people you're going to be shooting at out of your cold, dead fuck hands. And believe me, that's where it's going to end up. That's where it's going to end up. You're going to be dead. You're going to be dead. There's no coming back from that. This isn't some liberal propaganda, oh, just take everybody's guns because they don't matter. They don't matter. They don't. Okay, you want a little handgun in case somebody pulls you over and wants to rob you? Fine. But as far as like an AR-15 or whatever, you don't need that shit. There's zero reason for that shit. There is zero reason to own that stuff. Okay, I mean, think about it. Your government will not allow you to have tanks or bazookas. And even with a tank and a bazooka, you're still not going to take out the freaking government. Even if you had an army of tanks and an army of bazookas, you're not taking out the fucking U.S. government. That is imbecilic. That is straight up retarded. I'm speaking truth here. Hear it. Grasp it. Live it. Okay. I'm sorry to break it to you. But the Second Amendment is bullshit. It is bullshit. Yeah, it's cute when you walked into the old canteen up there. Gonna, gonna spit in a little trough up there. Got the horse out the back on the front. Yeah, it was cute back in the fucking day. It was cute. It actually made sense back then. In today's modern society... You are not going against the government. You're not. You are not. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can wish in one hand crap in the other. And I know what's going to happen. You're going to end up dead. They are going to kill you. They can kill you. They can kill you before you even know what hit you. They can glass you from space, motherfucker. I mean, seriously, they can send a drone up your fucking ass and blow up your fucking family. Really? And you think you're going to take out the tyrannical government? I don't know, man. <clears throat> I really, I, I don't know what to tell you. So this, this, this gun debate bullshit, it's what it is. And again, I'm not against people having guns. I really don't have a problem with it. I don't. I have a problem with them having certain guns that are just, you know, because one of the arguments is like, well, guns don't kill people. People kill people. Okay, well, can we ban people from having guns? Let's not ban the gun. Let's ban the people. If if you are on a terrorist watch list, uh, no, you should not have a gun. Fuck you, Republicans. If you're known to have mental disorders and mental problems, you should not be allowed to get a fucking gun. Why that's so difficult? Why a background check saying, hey, guess what? Is this guy fucked in the head? Why is that so difficult? We're taking our guns, taking our rights, taking our Second Amendment. Based on what? Based on what? I mean, seriously, then we need to change the Second Amendment. We do. We need to change it to say if you cannot handle the fucking gun, you should not be allowed to have one. Now, I understand the whole point of the Second Amendment is that you have a right to bear arms uninfringed. But the problem is, if you're fucking unhinged, you should not be having guns. 
It's just a, a societal thing. It's a societal norm. It's a societal uh, desire. I don't want to go to Walmart and see some fucking retard, some hillbilly lowbred fuckhead, going up and down the fucking toy aisle with a with a with an M16 strapped to his back or an AR15 or whatever the fuck these things are strapped to his fucking back while little kids are running around. I'm sorry, I don't feel safe with that. I don't feel safe with that. I mean, first off, guns are for pussies anyway. Because, well, shit, let, let's look at Zimmerman. He stalked the freaking kid. I mean, think about this. All these people, well, he attacked Zimmerman and, he, you know, and Trayvon attacked him. Yeah, but think about it. You're walking home. All of a sudden, some guy's slow driving behind you. Probably flashing lights at you. Just driving real slow, creepily, behind you. And you're like, what the fuck is this? And you kind of dart off the road, and you kind of go off be, you know, behind the uh, the different houses and try to get, you know, get away from this fucker. All of a sudden, this fucker stops his vehicle, gets out, and starts walking and chasing you around the, the, the dead of night. Yeah, you're going to hide in the bushes and, and attack that fucker. When he's clearly coming after you. And then like a bitch, you pull out a gun because you, you're getting beat up by a, a 15-year-old kid. What a fucking loser, dude. Zimmerman's a pussy. Uh, dude, I'm sorry. Guns are for pussies. You either handle your shit. See, I say you take away the guns and give people katana swords is what you should do. Because you, you want to handle your business. Handle it like a fucking man. Handle it with some respect. Handle it with some dignity. Have some class. You know? Have some honor. Japanese culture has it right. Give the motherfucker a katana sword and say, hey, guess what? Go to town, motherfucker. You know this pussy bullshit? Pee pee! Pee pee! Because you didn't get your way. Cause, because, you know, oh, he attacked me. Yeah, because you're being a fucking pervert. You're being a fucking pedophile. You're chasing a fucking toddler around the fucking backyard. You asshole, you piece of shit, you scumbag Mexican fuck. Hey, whatever. Whatever. Believe what you want to believe because you're fucked in the head because you have no brain cells because you're... Oh, my God. People are just stupid. People are legitimately fucking stupid. I'm sorry. They just are. This whole gun debate is bullshit. It is. It's absolute bullshit. And again, I have no problem with somebody like, oh, I want to go hunting or, you know. I mean, my father's a hunter. I get it. The cousins are hunters. I get it. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Like if, okay, look, for example, a AR-15, there's nothing wrong with it if you're a collector. But if you're going to say, oh, it's my, my uh, safety provision of choice, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. No, you want to have one in your own private collection? You want to have one in your home? Fine, I don't have a problem with that. The minute you take it outside of the home, then it becomes a problem because now I've got to see it and I've got to, you know, possibly get shot by it. Fuck you. Because that's the thing. Just because you have a right to bear arms doesn't mean you have a right to run around the fucking town with it and act like a, a tough guy. You, there's no law that says that. Yeah, you can have the gun, but doesn't mean, you know... I mean, seriously, what gives you the right to, to do that? What gives you, honest to God, the right to run around and start fights and start acting like a fucking tough guy and be like John Wayne, like, oh, I'm going to police the, police the town, I'm going to police the city, got my little sheriff badge on. Like I said, oh, wow, wow, Wesley, fucking loser. I mean, seriously, what gives you the right to do that? Now, you do, like, a training course or something, and you become an actual uh, deputy, or you become a, you know, actual whatever, and there's actual, like, legitimate shit that you learn and do, fine. But this, this wannabe cowboy bullshit, I'm sorry. That's wrong. And Zerlin is a piece of shit for it. The guy's a scumbag. He did wrong. He did absolutely wrong. Well, you threatened to kill him. Yeah, dude, I would have threatened to kill him too. I'm like, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker, and go after him, and then subdue the motherfucker and say, "What are you chasing me for, asshole?" It's exactly what I would have done. I'd be dead. It's fucking bullshit. 
It's because you've got no fucking spine. It's because you're a fucking coward. You're a pussy at life. That doesn't mean that, you know, a kid who was doing nothing... Oh, he's a bad kid. He was he had, he had marijuana in his system. Who gives a fuck? What the hell difference does that make? If anything, he was, he was you know, like, oh, 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 out there looking for munchies. Isn't out there looking for fights? You know, out there looking for fights. You're, people don't understand marijuana. Like, the people have this idea that if you, you smoke marijuana, all of a sudden you just hulk up like the, 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 the fucking hulk and turn green and start smashing and shit. And next thing you know, it's going to lead into steroids, which is going to do the same thing. It's instant, instantaneous hulking. And it's like, Rrr. no, it's not how shit works, people. It's not how that shit works. Figure it the fuck out. What's the gateway drug? Dude, the fact that I got out of bed is a gateway drug. The fact I'm even talking about this topic is a gateway drug. If anybody deserves to be on fucking medication, it's me. That's a damn truth. You got all these fucking kids getting shot up in their fucking schools. And then, you got, of course, you got Jeff Sessions. Fucking loser idiot. Walking out gang violence, guys. Dude, this, this fucking killing... Sandy Hook, the last 15, had nothing to do with gang-related anything. So the fact he's even talking about gangs, it means absolutely nothing. He's completely out of fucking touch with reality. That guy's a fucking goof. Kick him in the dick and get him out of there, because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Imbecilic. Straight-up imbecilic. It's the gangs, man. It's all about the gangs. We have the Justice Department. It's all about the gangs. No, it's not about the fucking gangs, you asshole. Oh, yeah, there's there's gang violence, but these situations in question are not about that. They're about sane, insane people versus sane people. And insane people getting the right to purchase and buy and get and collect and have anything to do with fucking guns. No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. Okay, here's an example. If you have a kid, a teenager, who's living with you, and you have a right to, you know, bear arms, but your kid is fucking... Okay, well, guess what? You should be required to have that fucking gun under lock and key that only you can get to, that only you can control and and, and deal with. Okay, not just, oh, I got a whole bunch of, you know, stockpile of weapons here, and little Johnny went nuts and decided, oh, let's take some to school. No, that's fucking insane, dude. We're living in insane fucking times. And the fact that people are oh, we're going to stand up for our Second Amendment rights, that's more important than kids dying. Really, that's more important than kids dying. And this fucking argument, don't even get me started. Well, if they don't use guns, if they don't use guns, though, they'll use something else. Here's a newsflash. If you use the knife, if you use the knife, guess what? 17 kids wouldn't be dead. You might have three or four, but wouldn't have 17. And if he did stab them repeatedly, guess what? He'd probably tire himself out after the first five. Okay, so five kids would be wounded, not dead. You might have two or three dead. They're not all going to die. Okay, maybe he, I don't know, humped the curb and ran his vehicle into the school. Okay, well, guess what? It's called the brick fucking wall, asshole. It's called the fucking exterior of the fucking building. Yeah, he might smash through. He might injure a couple kids, might even kill a couple. He ain't killing 17. Even if he smashed the vehicle through the fucking wall, ran over a couple kids in desk, and got out and started stomping the bejesus out of everybody else, guess what? Some of them would live. Some of those 17 kids would have lived. So fuck you and your bullshit. That's a stupid ass bullshit argument. I would take my chances over getting run over or stabbed than pee pee and just randomly dying. I mean, do you realize during Gun Appreciation Day, what was it, a couple years ago, five fucking people during Gun Appreciation Day shot themselves. And these are supposed to be responsible gun owners. I mean, do you understand that? There are countless, countless videos on YouTube where you see, you know, people who are actually trained professionals with guns shooting themselves. Shit can happen. Shit can happen. Now, 
The problem is that not everybody's a trained professional. So if you've got trained professionals where shit happens, and yeah, shit happens, what happens when you have people who aren't trained professionals with shit happening and shit that they want to make happen? What happens then when you have not just such... I mean, listen, it's just the problem. It's not that guns are so accessible. It's the fact that what they accomplish is so accessible through their accessibility. In other words, okay, let's say he went into Walmart and got a bow and arrow and shot a kid in the dick. Okay, and the kid died, bled out and died. Okay, fine. Okay. Big deal. I didn't even care about that. It happens. Shit happens, you know? But the fact that you can take an AR-15... I don't even, I'm not even sure how many bullets a second that thing shoots off. But it shoots off quite a few, I'm assuming. I'm assuming. I mean, enough to kill at least 17 kids. Randomly running and scurrying. Okay. You can mow the fuckers down. And not only that, but turn them into, like, ground beef... I mean, you can't, it's not bad enough that you killed the kids. But a couple of them are probably going to have closed caskets because they're, they're just ground beef right now. They're ground fuck chuck. Okay, do you understand that? Why is that even an option? That's my right to bear arms. It's my right to tell you to shut the fuck up because you don't need to bear those arms, okay? You don't. You don't because it means nothing. Even if you had a whole army of those... Air 15s. Guess what? You're not taking over the government, so it it's a moot point, fucker. It's a moot point. Because again, I love this idea that well, it's, it's it's not it's not the gun's fault. It's not the gun's fault. It's the person's fault. <sighs> See, the problem with this, the gun has one sole purpose. Its destiny is to do one thing, and that's kill. It is. No, it's to, it's to keep the peace. By doing what? Oh, killing. Yeah, you're right. Fuck you. You're an idiot. Now, a car... See, the difference between a car and a, and a gun or a knife... A knife is not meant to kill people. Can it be used to kill people? Yes. You could have a pencil. Are you going to ban all pencils? Okay, I understand the logic there. But there's a difference between jamming a fucking pencil in a kid's eye... Versus just pew, 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 shooting up the whole fucking class and killing eight people right there. Just that pew, 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 pew. I just killed eight people. I'm not even thinking about it. At least with the pencil, you have to have legit intent. You have to actually grab it, focus it in your mind, and then sit there and say, yeah, I'm going to jam that in some fucker's eye and break it off. And actually physically do it, as opposed to just wiggling your finger and go pew, 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 pew and taking on half your classmates. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. The gun's only purpose is to kill. It's to invoke fear and kill. It has no other purpose. That's for safety. It's for safety. Then get a life preserver, fucker. You don't need... I mean, come on. Give me a break. Uh. And listen, I'm not against that. You want to have, you want to feel safe with the gun. I have no again. I have no problem with guns per se. Again, if, if we're talking about a bazooka, yeah, I don't want anybody to have a bazooka. Nobody should have a bazooka, unless it's like some sort of train that like you're out in a desert somewhere and you just want to shoot it off. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Maybe you could have a few, you know, instances where you could sell the fucking things. Okay, fine. I don't even have a problem with that. You know, it's like, a, it's like fireworks, illegal fireworks, same thing, same thing. Of course, this is a little bit bigger, but you know what I mean. It, it's roughly the same thing. But, again, the whole purpose of the gun is to simply kill and destroy other people. It's to destroy human life. That's what the point is. It's to destroy people's lives. That's what they do. That's what they're designed for. They're not designed... Now, if you want to say, okay, well, it's designed for intimidation. It's designed for fear of, I'm going to pull up the gun and say, I'm going to shoot you. And that's going to make you fear and be like, oh, not me not do what I was doing. Okay, then 
sell the gun, don't sell the bullets. How about that? Not being sarcastic when I say that, obviously, but... Okay, so if you, if you want a gun for the intimidation factor, fine. You don't need bullets for that. You know. I mean, you could, you could literally have blanks, shoot a blank off, bang, scare the bejesus out of somebody, and it's like, oh, oh, oh. Which could work either way. I mean, you could scare some old lady to, you know, at the ATM just by shooting off a blank with no intent to kill her. She doesn't know that. Or if you're trying to protect yourself, you shoot off a blank, you know. I mean, again, I'm being sarcastic because it's a stupid argument. So I'm trying to give stupid examples of how stupid it is. It's just, it, it's so fucking mind-numbingly stupid. And then all the politicians who are getting kickbacks from the NRA, oh, no, no, it's too soon, it's too soon. Okay, how about Sandy Hook? Can we talk about Sandy Hook now? That's, that's, that's not too soon. How many years has that been? How many months? Fuck you. I mean, come on. It's always too soon. It's always too soon, yeah. How about you look at those fucking kids and those little tiny coffins that these kids are going to be in? Why don't you look at that and say, oh, it's too soon. Fuck you. All this thoughts and prayers bullshit. I got your th thoughts and prayers hanging, motherfucker. Give me a break. But again, I am not against guns. I want to make that abundantly fucking clear. I am not against guns. I am not. I'm not against people having them. I'm not. I am against people having... Machines of fucking death, yes. Now, granted, you could say, well, well just a six-shooter's a machine of death. Okay, yeah, but six people, then you gotta reload. Okay. Now, you wanna have your fucking gun, how about you go back to the old old days where you got the stupid flint shot and a little buck powder and all the other bullshit. Uh, you know, when I hand out those guns, everybody could have one of them motherfuckers. Like, pee! Oh, gotta reload. I mean, come on. When these things are shooting out bullets, X number of bullets per second, to the, to the point you can mow people down and turn them into hamburger, that's fucked up, dude. That is legitimately not cool. That is just legitimately not cool. And it, again, the argument is not there. You have no reason to have that kind of a gun. None. What's for hunting? Dude. You don't need a fucking AR-15 or any of these guns that shoot like a gazillion bullets a second. And I know I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know anything about guns. I'm not going to sit there and pretend to do. I know shotgun, rifle, pistol, and that's about it. You know, uh, basically, basically my gun knowledge comes from Call of Duty. Okay. SMGs and snipers and all that bullshit. That's about the extent of my knowledge of guns. I, I have no interest in it. I understand people do, and I can understand they're gun enthusiasts. And I don't want to take that away from them. They should have a right to be enthusiasts, as long as they're mentally capable. As long as they can pass a basic physical, a basic mental exam. You know? Now, I understand that goes against the right to bear arms unimpeded. Or un, 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 unhindered, whatever the fuck it is. I understand that. But we're living in a society where people are just abusing the problem. They're, they're abusing it. And you have to make allotments for it. And if you were a fucking gun owner who is a legitimate gun owner who cares about the sport, the sport of, like, guns in general, like, keeping them and maintaining them and just, you know the hobby of it, and, now, granted, I understand guns are not necessarily just a hobby, I understand that, the whole, you know, take out the, take out the tyrannical government, let's be, like I said earlier, that, that is, that's a moot point, don't even go down that road, you're an idiot, so obviously they've become a, a hobby thing, they've become, and they've become a secondary thing, they really have. Because, again, you are not going against the tyrannical fucking government. You're just not. Get that through your stupid fucking heads. Obama's coming to take our guns, man. No, Obama was not coming to take your fucking guns, you idiot. 
if anybody's going to come take your guns, it's Jesus. When he gets back here, he's going to say, hey, motherfucker, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Fuck you. You're not taking other people's lives. You should be out there propagating the gospel. You should be out in, in Iran risking your life to propagate the gospel, not sitting at home wondering who's going to steal your stuff. It's called trial by fire, motherfucker. All that stuff is going to burn up. Yes, that even includes your family. That includes your family. That includes everything. That includes your underpants. That includes your TV. That includes everything. It's what's left after all that, after the trial by fire. That's what matters. And, as, you know, people need to understand that. This isn't some sort of wishy-washy concept with God. It is what it is. So you're going to sit there and you're going to try to protect your home front? Why? Especially if you're Christian. Christians with guns? That just seems odd to me. That seems very odd to me. Because again, the gospel's clear. You go and you propagate the gospel even into dangerous territory. Even if it means the risk of your own life. I mean, that's what it says. You know, hey... I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm going to be, be completely bold about that. I'm not out there doing it. I'm just as guilty. But I'm not sitting at home trying to protect my stuff. Like, God gives a fuck about your stuff. But yet, you seem to care about it. I don't understand that. That makes no sense to me. Don't get me wrong. I like my stuff. I don't want my stuff being stolen. I don't want my family being raped. I understand that. And murdered. I understand that. But that's not what it's about. That's not what this life is supposed to be about for us. Again, I'm talking just to the Christians here. I don't give a fuck. If you're Republican or Democrat or whatever the fuck, and you don't give two shits about any of that, fine. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the people who go to church and want to act like they're, you're, there's something special on Sunday. And then act like fucking maniacs the rest of the week. Those are the people that I'm going after. Because you're hypocritical. You're absolutely hypocritical. If you're a born-again Christian and you have a fucking gun, you're hypocritical. Now, again, I'm not going to be naive. I'm not going to be naive. You cross the road, you look both ways. You know, you just don't run right out there and be like, ah. okay, you don't. You just don't do that. You know, God gave you, God gave you the, the wherewithal to evaluate your surroundings. Well, we need to do the same damn thing. Guns are not of God. They're not. Especially when you talk... Jesus, dude. Especially when you're talking pro-life. Oh, we're pro-life. We're going to stand up for the fetus. But they're going to take guns and shoot a bunch of kids because they try to break into our house and steal pointless stuff that's going to burn up in, at the end of days anyway? I mean, seriously. When our sun expands and when it dies and it expands and engulfs the planet... Everything you own is going to be dead. It's going to be gone. The only thing you're going to take with you is what you can fit on the little space shuttle. And hopefully it's more than a shuttle by then. Of course, that's 500 what, billion years from now. Whatever. We're all going to die. I mean, seriously, do you realize that most people right now within... Shit, within 100 years, everybody's going to be dead. 99% of the people that are alive right now in 100 years are going to be dead. Your kids are going to be dead. You're going to be dead. I'm going to be dead. We're all going to be fucking dead. I mean, seriously. Everybody's going to be fucking dead in 100 years. So, what the hell difference does it make? Well, I'm going to defend my stuff. I'm going to defend my property. Defend it from what? It's just stuff. It's like, again, if you, if you wake up and your house is on fire... What's more important? You get the kids, you get the wife, you get the, you get the cats, you get the dogs, you get whatever the fuck is out. And if you can, grab a laptop. That's about it. That's about it. Grab your shoes, grab your shit. Grab as much shit as you can. But what's most important? The family. Once the family's safe, that's it. So this idea, oh, I'm going to defend my personal property and my stuff. I, I, I don't understand that. I don't get the logic in that. Especially from a Christian. I really don't understand that. Now again, you're a backwater southern lowbred. I can understand that you want to you want to defend your stuff. You want to defend your property. I get that. And there's nothing inherently wrong with that 
per se, especially if you're talking from a worldly point of view. If you're talking like we don't care about God, well, okay, fine. You, you defend your stuff. Makes sense. It makes sense. It does. It's like survival of the fittest. It makes sense. Here and now, it makes sense. But if you're looking at a bigger picture, it doesn't make sense. That's what's interesting about it. So, you know, what do you do with that information? Where do you go with that information? But, hey, what the fuck do I know, you know? I just sit here and watch all these fucking kids get shot up and shit. I mean, think about it. You, you go into school trying to learn and some fucking retard shows up and starts shooting the bejesus out of everybody. And 17 people that, that you probably walked by the halls numerous times, you probably didn't, you know, didn't know them one-on-one, -on -one, but you probably knew of them. They're gone. They're dead. There's blood and piss all over the fucking halls. Now, how the fuck is kid... How the fuck are these kids supposed to go back to school? I mean, seriously, this is February. They got March, April, May, and probably most of June. They got four more months before the summer. How are they supposed to concentrate? How are they supposed to go back to school and not have fucking nightmares? I'm ha I'd have nightmares just thinking about it. To walk them down the same fucking hall, you know, and probably see a blood stain, see, a, see some drops of blood and shit, because somebody, you know, didn't clean it up proper. I mean, can you imagine that? Can you fucking imagine that? And for what? Just for some stupid right to bear fucking arms? For a moot, mundane point that no longer exists? It no longer exists. Tyrannical government, it doesn't matter. You can do nothing. You understand it? You can do nothing. If you want to hold on to the belief, fine. Fine. You'll end up in a casket just like those kids did. That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to play out. You're not going to overthrow the fucking government, dude. And I really, really, really wish I could save some fucking lives and get through some fucking stupid heads when I say that. Now, I don't know what to tell you. If you if somebody who believes in that and this is the greatest thing since sliced bread, I don't know what to tell you. Because... It is a moot point. It's over. You've you've the, the battle's already lost. On that, it is. It has. You've lost that already. Now, what do we do with it? Can we get it back? No, you can't get that back. This idea, oh, the government's of the people, and for the people, and by the people, and blah blah blah. Government's for itself, by itself, fuck itself is what it is. It has nothing to do with the people. It's about the rich motherfuckers. All these older tax cuts, tax cuts, yeah. Yeah, these tax cuts are going to do so wonderful. Yep. Yeah, that's why the deficit is as high as it is. And by the way, higher than Obama, by the way, but whatever. <clears throat> but, you know, hey, whatever. Whatever, we're so worried about the goddamn deficit yet, and all of a sudden, oh, we got to give all these tax tax breaks back to the... The richest corporations and the richest people because they're going to create all these jobs. Yeah, just like they did in 2008. Fuck you. It's called history. It's called fucking history. And it wasn't even that long ago, you dumb fucks. No, you just keep believing it and get your dollar fifty every week. You're going to... Woo, those Vegas odds. Idiot. But hey, whatever. Whatever. You're good at... It, all it is is corporate rape. I mean, it's to the point right now where government intervention is actually desirable. Think about it. I mean, again, let's look at health care. A government health care that says, I don't give a fuck who you are, what you did, who, you know, I don't give a fuck about any of that stuff. Are you sick? Yes. Do you need help? Yes. Here it is. Go get, go get help. Go, go see the doctor. Versus corporate greed. Well, we didn't make enough money off these poor people, so fuck them. We're going to kick them off the rolls. They can just die in the fucking street. Fuck them. I mean, where's Sarah Palin talking about the death panels and shit? Where's all that fucking shit? Yeah, you don't hear about that. Fuck you. It's freaking stupid. It's asinine bullshit. 
so sick of it. You know, it, it's like I don't understand where these people get off half the time, too. By the way, I really don't, because it's political. It's all no. Listen, I'm not saying Obama didn't do anything bad, or he didn't like. Oh, he rewrote the laws, and and he took the law into his own hands, and he he started doing executive orders that were or rewriting the laws. Listen, I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm not even going to get into that. But let's look at some of the stuff that he did do that wasn't as questionable. Okay, I can understand. Maybe that's questionable on some level. Sure. Sure. Okay, fine. He rewrote laws. How he has the power, who knows, but he did. Okay, so apparently he did. I'll take your word for it. But you know damn well, 99% of the other stuff that people gave him shit for was simply, simply because they, their political party didn't agree with it. Had nothing to do with whether it was right, whether it was good, whether it was it had potential, whether there was merit there. It was just, no, he's a liberal, fuck him. We're conservative, fuck him. He's the black guy, fuck him. That's all it came down to. That's all it came down to. It was so disgusting, and it's the hypocrisy. Oh, Obama's raising deficits, and oh, he's off golfing, and blah, blah, blah. What the fuck is Trump doing? Trump is doing the exact goddamn thing, and not a fucking Republican is saying shit. Actually, I think the only one who's saying anything is, is Rand Paul. And Rand Paul, he's the curly-headed fuck, he's a jackass, whatever. He's not the only one saying it. Everybody else, oh, it's okay, our guy's doing it because he's got an R next to his name. Yeah, that's how we that's how we run a fucking government, because they got either got an R or D next to their fucking name. I don't give a fuck about R and D. You can make the fucking country run smoothly? Fine. I don't give a fuck who you are. I'll vote a goddamn socialist. I'll, I'll vote Adolf fucking Hitler if he can do something, get something done. No, obviously, I mean something good, obviously, not like, oh, let's go mass murder a bunch of people. I don't mean it like that, but you know what I mean. It's like, I'm being sarcastic because you got all these people like, oh, well, if, if, if you know, if Satan, if, if Satan had an R next to his name, seriously, if the devil himself had a fucking R next to his name, there's people who'd vote for him. They would. That's how petty they are. It's us versus them bullshit. I'm sorry, it's not us versus them. It's not, it's us versus us. We're, we're basically quabbling against each other. We're squabbling to and fro over stupid, petty bullshit that nothing... Like, all these people, oh, I'm a Republican, so I'm... Or, I'm for, uh, you know, not, not having abortions, so I'm going to be a Republican. Okay, how many times really does that even come up? What? Okay, so you want to, you know, unfund Planned Parenthood. Okay, fine. But here's a news flash. Even if you could overturn Roe v. Wade, guess what happens? It goes and becomes a state issue. So, guess what happens? All the states who are for it will keep it. All the states who aren't We'll get rid of it. You're not going to end abortion. See, that's the problem. People don't understand. Oh, we're in abortion. Get rid of Roe v. Wade. We'd, we'd end it. We stop planned, you know, planned Parenthood. We stop funding them. It'll end it. No, it won't end it, motherfucker. It won't. New York, California, maybe Florida, and whatever other liberal states, Massachusetts probably, they would keep it. They would keep it. They would. And the Republicans won, Texas and others, so they'd get rid of it. But it's still not going to go away. Anybody who wants an abortion, hop the border. All you really did is make it harder to get it, but they're still going to be able to get it. That's, that is the problem. That is the legit problem. I mean, it's almost like uh, slavery back in the day. North didn't want it. South did. They wanted, oh, make it states' rights. 
Which is ironic. It's like... We can't have states' rights for things like health care. We can't have states' rights for, oh, I don't know, net neutrality. No. No. Can't have net neutrality, you know, but we can have slavery. You're going you're gonna to go tooth and nail, tooth and claw for fucking slavery and defend that bullshit, that Confederate flag-waving bullshit, those traitorous motherfuckers, but yet yeah, net neutrality, no, sorry. Sorry, we don't care about that. Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a break. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely astonishing that when it comes to something like that, we're like, oh, well, we don't care about states' rights, but yeah, let it be about slavery and keeping human beings as slaves. Oh, no, we got to make that a states' right issue because, you know, they should have a right to choose whether it's okay to keep human beings as fucking pets. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, you stupid asshole? Just for that, you should take your fucking gun and shove it up your fucking ass and pull the trigger. That's how fucking stupid you are. You deserve it. It's stupid. I'm just, I, I'm just, I get tired of that shit, man. I legitimately get tired of it. Fucking hypocrisy across the goddamn board. Nobody's got the heart to say any of it. These fucking coward politicians aren't going to do it. These people are getting paid by NRA and by all these other fucking corporations, all these other bullshit, they're not going to speak up against it. Even, even, even Chuck Schumer, he's a spineless bitch. He's not going to do a fucking thing. Sitting there pissing and complaining. Oh, da, 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 and then guess what? Guess what? He caved like a motherfucker when it came to those tax cuts. Why? Because his donors were barking too. That, that, that fucker that fucker sank quicker than the fucking Titanic when it came to that shit. The guy's pathetic. Got his little glasses on the brim of his fucking nose. Doesn't make him look smarter. It makes him look like a fucking idiot. Like, you, literally, you just want to pound his face with a sledgehammer until his glasses go back onto his face normal. I mean, seriously. I hate people who do that, though. I really do. I understand bifocals and trifocals and... Whatever, I understand that. I get it, but it's just, I hate it. I, people do it, and it irritates me. I literally want to just pound them in the face until their glasses go back onto their face the way they're supposed to be. I don't know, it's a pet peeve. and I I understand, I get it, I, get it, I understand what we need it to read, and you got to look through it. And I, I get it, I understand it, but it irritates me. It ear-fucking-tates me. Do you understand that? Do you hear the words? It ear-fucking-tates me. A lot of shit irritates me. But again, I, I just, I don't understand these, these school shootings and this bullshit and this guns right bullshit. Because, again, we're not even on the same playing field. We're not even talking about the same fucking thing. Because you ask any any gun right nut, they'd be like, oh, second amendment, second amendment, bear arms, right to bear arms. Okay, what does that entail? That entails that we can go against our tyrannical government. Again, you cannot go against a tyrannical government who can glass you from space, dude. They can, they can melt you from space. Do you understand that? They don't need to come for your guns. They don't. I mean, our government has done experiments on us. You do realize that. They have done actual mind control on us, they have done chemical experiments on us they've random, seriously, these are actual declassified fucking programs where they've actually done things to unsuspecting people so you're telling me that if they're willing to do that that if you get a little rowdy and a little uppity they're not just going to somehow take you out of the equation altogether <laughs> I don't know, man. I, because it is kind of funny. It's like you got all these national security. They're too busy watching us, yet 9 11? Nah, that went through. All these fucking school shootings where there's these, you know, terrorist attacks and all this other shit where there's, there's literally a, a breadcrumb trail leading back to, well, we should have seen it. 
And we we had we had proof, but we weren't really sure. And blah 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 blah. But yet, you know, some eighty year old guy is over there on the phone talking to his grandkid. We can listen to him all fucking night. I don't understand the logic there. I really don't. I don't get that logic. You're too busy watching me. You're too busy watching everybody to fuck else. The people who aren't the ones who are going to fucking do it. Just because I say bomb, bomb, president, bomb, 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 bomb. Okay, now all of a sudden I got fucking NSA and everybody else because all these fucking cameras in my room, all these microphones in a fucking room, they probably all just went ding. And some fucking idiot sitting there with a little headset on listening to me right now as I speak. They're listening to me, but oh no. El Jahiyahuhu, whatever the fuck his name is, who's going to set up the n- next terrorist attack. Yeah, no, they're not, anybody, they're not busy worrying about that fucker. No, no, they're not, they're not busy watching his ass, listening to his shit. No, they're going to listen to me. Give me a fucking break. Give me a break. I'll get into some conspiracy theory, too. I guarantee you 99% of the shit that happens, happens for a fucking reason. Now, I'm not going to be one of these false flag people, but... I guarantee you, there's probably a damn good chance that some of that shit happened for a fucking reason. That somebody orchestrated that shit. And it's... It's disturbing. It is. You know? I mean... It's not like somebody ran into a local supermarket and bought a thing of ketchup and started squirting it all over the place when it comes to these guns. No, they went in and bought some fucking guns and bullets and 900 billion boxes of bullets, a billion, billion bullets a second, and, you know, rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, and the whole fucking townhouse is dead. Everybody in the house is dead. I, I don't understand that. It doesn't make logical sense to me that that's okay. Yet, if I went in to a local store and I bought like 50 dozen eggs, or a teenager went in and bought 50 dozen eggs, that that's not going to raise a fucking red flag and somebody's going to be like, hey, maybe the uh, maybe we should call the cops on these kids in case they're going to egg somebody's fucking house. Think about it. You go in and you buy like 15, 20 rolls of toilet paper in three or four things of eggs, cartons of eggs. On Halloween night. That raises more red flags than somebody buying a fucking gun with a hundred boxes of ammo. That's just that's just par for the fuck course. Are you goddamn kidding me, dude? Are you fucking kidding? Obviously somebody's gonna buy a fucking AR-15 with God knows how many fucking bullets. Guess what? That motherfucker's ready to party somewhere. Okay, it's a fact. It's a fucking fact. You know? So why is it, why is it that one thing re- raises red flags, yet people who have mental st- instabilities doesn't even register, doesn't even, doesn't even ring a fucking bell somewhere? Explain that to me. And how are we accept that as a fact? Well, it wouldn't have changed anything, even if we, you know, the laws that are on the books and blah, blah, blah. I've heard, listen, I've heard every fucking argument there is. And I'm telling you, at the end of the fucking day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is 17 kids just fucking died. Along with... <coughs> name the last 15 or 20 fucking mass shootings that just took place in the last few years. Okay. This country has a gun problem. It does. This is the only country on the planet that has a legitimate gun problem. Japan doesn't have a gun problem. They don't. They don't. They have a you know tentacle sex problem, in a, in, a, in, a, in a weird sexual fetish problem, but you know they don't have gun problem. They don't have gun violence. So what's the fucking problem? What's the fucking problem? I mean, listen. This is going to be a stupid statistic, but here's a newsflash. One hundred percent of Gun fatalities happened at the hand of a gun. Think about that. Now I said I know that was a stupid, you know, statistic, but I mean, how many people die from cars every year? Either being run over or get smashed into a pole. Now, 
Contrast that with the number of cars that are sold every year. Now, contrast the number of guns that are sold every year versus how many people die every year from guns. And I guarantee you, one is going to be a lot higher percentage than the other. Because the gun has no other purpose other than to take a fucking life. It has no other fucking purpose. The, the car has another purpose. It's transfer fucking Okay, it's transportation. So I'm sick and tired of that argument, that stupid logic, that dumb logic, it's idiot logic. Well, if you're going to ban the gun, you might as well ban the vehicles. How about we just ban you from being a fucking moron and open your stupid fucking mouth? Put you in a fucking room, send you to Texas, put you in a fucking room and say, there you go, have at it, hoss. You have your little Republican state, and you'll see how, how it works. you see how it works out. And God forbid, God forbid, something happens, and you get hurt at work, and you, you can't work. Good luck, buddy. Fuck you, you're not coming to our liberal town. I mean, give me a break. Stupid assholes. That's another thing. People need to really get off their fucking high horse. They really seriously freaking do. Stop worrying about what other people are doing and what other people have that you don't have. Stop worrying about that. Oh, they took this and took it from me and oh, they're giving it to that one. And Stop worrying about that shit. Worry about, worry about what you can deal with. Worry about what you can deal with. Worry about what you can change. You're not going to change that shit. You're not. I don't know, man. It's just... People just irritate me sometimes. And you got all these fucking politicians, these politicians, these, these blowhard fucktads who go around and say all this bloviated bullshit and then actually say nothing. They speak all these grandiosity words and then their words mean nothing. They're hollow. They're nothing. They amount to nothing. Oh, we're going to do everything in our power to do, 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 do. Jeff fucking Sessions. Oh, yeah. Justice Department. We're going to do everything we can. The problem is he's sitting there talking about gang violence. What the fuck does gang violence have to do with this unstable person who did what he did? What the fuck does gang violence have to do with that? It has nothing to do with it. Nothing. The wrong person got their hands on a fucking gun and went on a rampage. Is essentially what happened in this case, and guess what? Most of the other cases. Well, he's a liberal. He's a, I've seen people on Facebook, oh, he's liberal. He's, he's, a, he's a registered Democrat. Who gives a fuck? I mean, Jesus, does anybody remember uh, McVeigh? He was fucking Republican, wasn't he? I mean, come on, it doesn't matter who, what party they're associated with. No. If he was Democrat, Democrats wouldn't let him have the guns. So guess what? Whose fault is it? Blame the fucking Republicans who want to give guns out to everybody. I mean, you realize, you realize that the Republicans have themselves a little conundrum when they... They hate illegal immigrants, but they want everybody to have a fucking gun. So it's like, oh, these, these illegal immigrants are coming across the border, but we want them all to have guns. I mean, think about that. Now, obviously, I'm being sarcastic when I say that, but they don't know what to do with themselves. It's like, they're illegal, and we want to kick them out, but we also want them to have guns. Because it's the American way. It's like, you can't have it both ways, asshole. You can't have that both ways, because you know, you know that's a sticky subject. Because it's like, oh, these brown people. We, we don't want to give guns to brown people. We want to give them to white people, sure. Not the brown people, but the brown people are here. And we want to sell. It's about the money. So what do we do? Well, where do we come down on that one? Because, again, they're, they're, they're not supposed to be here. They're breaking the law, but when the hell has that stopped anybody from getting a gun? You know? They're not mentally unstable. They meet almost. They basically meet their criteria of getting a gun, which is basically un un unheated. Just, just get it. So I, again, I don't understand the logic there either, because you again you can't have that both ways. You can't sit there and say, "Well, we don't like these people, but we want to give them guns." You, you, 
I mean, seriously. And you know there's, there's Republicans losing sleep over that. You know they are. You know they're sitting there weeping at night. You know, breaking out in cold sweat. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They want every. They want rapists to have guns. They want child molesters to have guns. They want convicted people to have guns. You know, once they're out, obviously. Obviously, you don't want you know, guns in prison, but you know what I mean. It's like you can't vote, but you can have a fucking AR-15. <laughs> do you understand that? Do you, do you get the logic? You come out of prison, you served your time. Let's say it was something stupid, tax evasion or something. You've lost your right, you've lost a whole bunch of privileges, you've lost your right to vote, but yet you can automatically go and get an AR-15. Like it's nothing. Like, like, you're, like you're basically servicing your car at a at, 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 at fucking coal muffler. I mean, are you kidding me? Are you seriously going to tell me that with a straight fucking face? That's where we are as a people? No wonder the fucking aliens don't want to come back. No wonder Jesus doesn't want to come back. I wouldn't come back to this fucking dump. These fucking idiots running around. I'm serious, if I was Jesus, I'd look over at God and be like, hey, fuck them. Let them fend for themselves for a while. I wonder why it's taken 2,000 years. I don't know, man. Anyways, you know, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Fuck guns. Fuck that. Fuck, fuck, fuck everybody. I don't want to talk about this.